Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh man. Keep it going, keep it going. He's still on it. Bigger circles, big circles. Big circles. Big circles. Oh, that was so cool. Keep it going. You still see him? <laughs> April 2016, a group of Minnesota politicians, including lakeshore property owners on a lake identified by the Minnesota DNR as a possible new stocking location for muscalunge, introduced bills in both the House and Senate that would not only prevent stocking on their lake, but also halt all future musky stocking on new lakes in the state of Minnesota. Yeah, I, I just saw the wave coming in. Yeah. That is not my throw it up, throw it up. Besides indicating the muskies will eat all the game fish in the lake and insinuating muskies are invasive species, the legislators are also indicating they feel Minnesota already has more than enough musky lakes and rivers to fish. In actuality, lakes with fishable musky populations make up less than 2% of Minnesota's over 10,000 fishable lakes. My first musky! While biology and common sense disprove everything these bills are founded on, I'm most troubled by legislators telling the DNR, Minnesota fishing license buying residents, and the thousands of anglers that travel annually to Minnesota for musky fishing, how many musky fishing opportunities should exist? This is especially troubling as the foundation of these bills can be traced back to individuals simply believing they own the waters of a certain lake because they own property on said lakes. Then all of a sudden a huge shape came up and just went like this. Musky fishing is one of the fastest growing segments of sports fishing. If you feel future generations deserve additional musky fishing opportunities, please call or email your House of Representatives. Senate members, and the governor's office informing them you support musky stocking of new lakes in Minnesota. <laughs>